Well, I'm joined now uh, by the chief economist at the IFO, Gernot Nerb. Uh, thank you very much indeed for joining us uh, for, on a snowy day today. Um, if I can ask you, we were expecting that the confidence might go down slightly, and it hasn't. What's behind these figures? Well, this time the confidence was driven mainly by the retail and wholesale sector. So finally, consumption is picking up in Germany, which is, of course, a positive sign. In manufacturing, uh, we saw a slight decline in the climate indicator, also in construction. But this was overcompensated by the good retail figures. Mm. Now, what, what about those retail figures? Because it's been notoriously hard to get the German consumer to start spending. Why are they spending now? Well, uh, employment is uh, picking up in Germany. Uh, there are lots of extra payments and uh, the outlook is good that uh, wages will increase uh, next year considerably. So after all, um, consumers are in a good mood and this is reflected in spending. We see even some shortages in some retail sectors. Now we're at a record high in Germany and yet we are talking a lot about a two-speed Europe. Has the concern about the peripheral debt crisis not dented German confidence at all? Well, of course, uh, there is a risk, but at the moment, uh, German industry of uh, Germany as a whole is benefiting from the relatively weak euro. Uh, interest rates are low, and it looks like that the banking sector is uh, giving credits uh, more generously to German companies uh, than before. So at the moment, uh, actually, it's a relatively positive uh, situation and hopefully the German locomotive will pull out some of the others. And what about the euro at the moment? It has been a fairly stable picture with a slightly stronger uh, US dollar than was anticipated. Is that playing into this strength as well? Well, the uh, relatively stable or even weakening euro is, of course, helping the uh, German export uh, sector. And uh, for import, uh, the prices are nevertheless stable because competition is high. So at the end, uh, it's a relatively perfect scenario for the German economy for the time being. But, uh, of course, this can't go on forever. So. Uh, at the end, of course, uh, the periphery has also to catch up again. Indeed. Uh, so what are the predictions? Uh, it seems to be going up uh, every month. Is this set to continue into the first quarter of 2011? Well, we still see some room for improvement uh, in German uh, manufacturing industry because investment activity has been stronger in the previous cycle. So uh, the German industry has not invested uh, sufficiently in the past years, though this is now uh, possible for the companies, uh, profits are good, so investment should uh, remain strong and also consumption, at least for next year, should uh, help uh, that the German economy will have a relatively good growth. We expect 2.4%, uh, maybe even a, a little bit more. Mr. Nerv, thank you very much indeed for braving the snow to join us.